creating the sequence. The sequence I use to create the reference image I create quite static because I rarely do any changes to it. So that means that the applications that I added in into the workbench I will add them directly into the sequence. For normal production deployments you normally have dynamic lists of applications but for the sequence that creates the reference image it does make sense to keep it quite static. Adding setup files and applications are not enough. You also would like to have the sequence update the image during deployment. So when the reference image is captured, it already has all the updates in it. So during that creation process, I will show you how to enable that as well. By default, MDT will go to Microsoft Update and get the updates during the sequence if you enable those actions. But I do recommend to have a WSUS server locally because you get a much higher reliability of those actions if you have that. And having a local WSUS as well allows you to control what updates that are added into the image. Back to my server. I will go to Sequences, create a new folder again. right click and say new sequence. I will give it an ID and a name. It's a standard client. I will select the image I added. I don't need a product key, this is Enterprise, I have a KMS, some organization settings, I don't need a password, and now I have a sequence. The next step is to edit the sequence. So about here I will create a new group. And in that group, I will add in the applications. So I will add in Silverlight. And the UI is actually a bit slow to refresh because you actually have to leave the nodes for them to refresh with the new name. And I will just copy and paste this step a few times and change it. So I install the other applications. And finally Office. and remove this one. Since Office may need a reboot, I will add a reboot. And also it does make sense to add in .NET Framework. So I will go up here and I will go and say install roles and features. Roles and features. I will select Windows 8.1 and I will select .NET. I will move it up here and now I have a sequence that will enable .NET Framework, install Silverlight, all the runtimes, Office and Reboot. These applications are actually two applications. Because if I go back in the folder here and look in my setup files, I'm using a wrapper, a VBScript wrapper, that will install both versions of the runtime because the 64-bit windows will actually need both of them. Back to my sequence. I also need to enable the Windows Update Actions. And I'm good to go.
So now I have done some changes to the sequence, installed some apps, enabled Windows Update, and the sequence is done.